How's it going guys? Got another video series for you guys and that is we're going to be testing out this 500 watt reliable electric converter. This one they actually sent me for free. I've bought enough from them and uh, so I asked them if there was a chance they'd send one for a review for YouTube and they did. So they got a 12 volt 500 watt inverter and we'll be testing that with these batteries. These are the those uh, Mitsubishi EV batteries that I uh, showed you guys in a, a previous video. Uh, these are the guys asking I believe $60 Canadian each. Um, they're a lithium ion battery. Uh, they're hard shell like they're encased in metal which is kinda cool and I got I bought three um, and I tested all three of these and they test out to be 50 amp hours almost exactly and I tested it with let's see here I tested it with this charger here and it tested out to be 50 amp hours and that, but that's right down to 9 volts uh, that's from 4.2 volts to uh, sorry not 9 9 volts for all three or 3 volts per per cell uh, 4.2 volts to 3 volts and next up is going to be using this with an inverter I know my cables are a little bit long not just a little bit long they're like five times longer than they need to be so the last bit of current that I pull out of these batteries will have to be at low um, output but we're going to stick a kilowatt meter in there we're going to run all this so we'll, we'll get an efficiency out of this as well and if we know that these are 50 amp hours at 3.7 volts nominal, you can figure out how many watt hours each battery is and how many, it's about, I think it's 500 watt hours between all three or 550, I can't remember. But look how small these batteries are. These batteries are tiny. Like, they're just so tiny. Like, I can't believe this is a 50 amp hour battery. This would be great. I guess for an electric car, except they are heavy. I give them that. They're much heavier than like a, a lipo pouch type cell. But we're gonna test them. I put it on this inverter. I don't know if we're gonna. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run my laptop, or I'm gonna run a heater, or I'm gonna run something. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Until next clip. Hey guys, how's it going? Another video for you today. It's about the Chevy Volt batteries. Can't wait to start using these things with the Magnusine inverter. Got some uh, coolant that I dripped on the top here. No big deal. But I finally got my BMS boards that I'm going to use with these. And I'm going to use uh, one BMS board per two 48 volt banks. It'll be one for that bank, one for that bank up to there, one for that bank up to there, and then one for these two. This is a 24 volt, 24 volt, so those will be in series for that and this one. So that's how many BMS? One, two, three, four. Four BMS boards, and that's what I bought. Four BMS boards. These are really nice. I have yet to use them, uh, so I can't say how good they are yet, but they, they have two temperature sensors uh, that I'll be placing on the battery, and then it's got, um, it's for 12S, it looks like you can actually get these in almost any configuration, because they the connector goes up to 16S, but this one's 12S. They have the little LEDs on the back, so you know when it's balancing. So I'll be have I'll, this will be facing out. It's a hundred amp BMS uh, pull or charge, and pull or charge comes out of the uh, what was it? See, so pulls there, charges there. I thought they both came out of the same spot, but I guess I was wrong. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so it's it's this BMS is set up exactly the same as. These little BMS boards, but look at the difference in size. This is a 30 amp, I, I always thought this was a 20 amp, but I looked it up. It's a 30 amp BMS board, 16 
S. This is a 100 amp BMS board, 12S. It's got a heat sink on both sides, and it's got a crap ton of diodes or MOSFETs or whatever those things are inside here. Tons of them. I think there is 32 total, 16 per side. So that's nice. They have these uh, copper rails um, soldered onto the board for current carrying. So when I solder my wire to here, I'm going to be soldering it right up to this uh, copper uh, rail so it can hold the current a lot better. So that's the, that's the board itself. But the nice thing about this board is, oh, come on, focus. It has Bluetooth. So I got this, these little Bluetooth devices that will plug into this. And then they have an app you can download. And you can see uh, the current you're pulling. You can see all these things. Um, it's pretty neat. I'm going to be able to see from inside my house what my batteries are doing in here. So that'll be quite handy. Anyways, I won't be installing this till the weekend. So hope you guys enjoyed this quick update.